I saw this one. I don't know if I want to watch this on stream or not. Like, look at this. Like, oh my god. Sisters who fake their funeral for money. Like, I feel like I almost kind of want to watch this. Like, this should be fucking funny, man. Watch it? Okay. All right, let's watch it. The sisters who fake their funeral for money. Yesterday, Tabby went into the hospital. She has pneumonia and she can't breathe. I set up a GoFundMe account. If y'all can donate a penny, nickel, dime. Oh my God. Hope, hope is so happy. When Amy and Tammy Slayton first began their YouTube journey back in 2014, mm -hmm. they were seen by their audience as two wholesome sisters who were bravely putting themselves out into the world despite their unconventional appearances. Yep. However, only a few short years later, that very same audience had grown to hate and despise them. Wait, what? The Slayton sisters would turn their entire audience Why? against them through controversy after controversy, peaking with one of the most ambitious scandals in YouTube history, a GoFundMe for Tammy Slayton's funeral who hadn't even died. However, what the the audience had simply known more about these two sisters prior to the beginning of their channel, each of these controversies could have been easily predicted. For example, back in 2010, Amy would be arrested after shoplifting an $8 book from Walmart, showing that even prior Damn. to the YouTube, the sisters- Thug life! Holy shit, an $8 book! That's the, exp it's the most expensive thing in a whole store! Scamming grandmasters? Yeah, we gotta take some notes were prone to both cutting corners and cheating the system. Uh -huh. Most of this information would only become public at a later date. So when they first began their channel, they were liked. The sisters built an audience through their strong family bond, positive That's attitude, nice. and ability to laugh at their own shortcomings. We need to lose weight to be pumped skinny. Oh. We don't care if you don't like us, we're fat and we love it. They weren't exactly the sharpest tools in the shed, but people appreciated their authenticity. I want to say, hey, I'm fat, I'm fat. But don't you call me fat. Why would I want you to call me fat if That's... we're trying to be in a relationship? Come on now, use your brain. Yeah, the fact true, that they were kind of doing true. YouTube for themselves, it didn't seem like they were trying to impress anyone. Love when a girl isn't afraid to be herself. I applaud you. Finally, a real person doing a review. Love it. Keep oh them coming. God. I love her so much. She always has such a positive, fun, relaxing vibe. The slate. Oh, God. Oh, what is this? Like, who types that, man? Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? And sisters would receive their first yes, big break queen. after posting a video titled Chubby Bunny Challenge, which would go on to gain a view count in the millions. However, Jesus. when examining the video's thumbnail and dislike ratio, it was pretty obvious that it had gone viral as a result of people watching to laugh at their physical appearances. Yeah. Oh, so they really made a whole video of just eating marshmallows? Like that was the whole, that's the whole video of just eating marshmallows? Bro, like, I, I always, I, I think a Chubby Bunny, yeah, well, I thought so, right? Because, like, Chubby Bunny, I thought was, like, Peeps or, like, you know, one of the Easter candies or something like that. Oh, my God. This is S-tier content? <laughs> I salute this channel for not disabling comments. That takes bravery. <laughs> I genuinely didn't know it was possible for the human body to lay adipose tissue on the forehead. Anytime I wake up and think, I don't really feel like working out today, I just think of this video and it gives me the motivation I I don't know why somebody writes that comment. You, you know what I mean? Like, I, like, yeah, obviously they're fucking fat, okay? Like, I, let's just, let's just get this out of the way. You know it, I know it. Like, yeah, Detective Asmongold is on the case. Uh, you know, after some research, uh, they're really fucking fat, right? And, but, like, I don't see, like, why do you, why do you go in and, and why do you, like, type this shit out? Like, what's the, like, it's, it's obvious, you know what I mean? Like, you don't need to... It's just, why not? Like, it's, it's just, who gives a shit, right? I mean, like, yeah, they're fat as fuck, man. Like, that's it. After research, a little bit of trying, it's cathartic. I feel like it's just people that are like, I don't know what the, I don't know what it is, man. What is it about people that do that? Like, why do you think they do that? Trolls? Well, no, it's not trolls because, like, people, like, normal people... It, it's normal? I, no, bro, like, it's not normal. Like, they're sick. They're, they're, it's an ego. It's a com I think that, yeah, that's what it is. That's a good point, guys. That's a really good insight. Yeah, it, it's a confidence boost because, like, uh, other girls can watch these girls and feel it, it boosts their confidence, which is, it, it's kind of like a, it's not really that healthy, you know? It's like you go and you watch Jerry Springer and you see Jerry Springer's got a guy on there that fucked his, he fucked his sister. And you think to yourself, hey, that's not too bad. What a loser. I only fuck my cousin. You see what I'm saying? So it's like they could find somebody who is lower on the totem pole than they are. Like, have you guys ever been in school? Have you guys ever been in school and there was a fat kid that makes fun of a fatter kid for in calling him fat in your class? 
Because I had like three of these. Yeah, I, I had like three of these this happen, right? Clip it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, and I think that people are always looking for somebody, especially people that feel like they might be a little bit low on the totem pole. They're looking to find and make sure that they're not at the bottom ring. I think that's what it is. Is your new stream meta to make fun of the mentally unstable pretty cringe? If it was, I'd pull up your logs. I need. It was a similar story with videos like Bake With Me and Trying New Makeup. The thumbnails were sufficiently horrid and laughable to make the videos go viral. However, despite the hate, the hundreds of thousands of views across yeah. the videos still brought in others who appreciated the relaxed nature of the channel, growing their fan base further. That's nice. Oh, you're so cute. Well done on your makeup and ignore all the negative comments. She is so sweet. I would let her put makeup on me any day. All the beauty gurus be like, you got to do it exactly like this, Kay. And this girl is like, it's your makeup. You choose how to do it. And she did pretty good. I'm going to sub. However, while a growing fan base would generally be seen as a positive for most YouTube yeah. channels. For the Slayton sisters, it would end up becoming a negative as it'd be at around the same time that they begin to reach out to their audience for help in relation to their lack Person's of a financial classic security. Andy. For example, after achieving a thousand subscribers on their right. channel, the Slayton sisters would set up their first GoFundMe, requesting that That's their smart. audience help them buy an Apple MacBook with the goal of increasing the quality of their videos. Now, most did, of their audience the felt as though there was nothing wrong with this proposal. The audience sends a bit of money through, mm -hmm. the sisters get a new laptop, and in return, the audience gets a higher average video quality which is seemingly a win-win for both parties. Yeah, However, a lot of people do this, especially like starting out creators. Uh, they'll get people to donate money to them to get them to, uh, you know, do whatever the fuck, right? On the contrary... Like a viewers better internet, the sisters, new laptop, using their power as YouTubers in comments such as, delete this. You are going to lose all your subscribers. You're a pathetic lowlife that needs to get off your ass and get a damn job like the rest of us instead of mooching off of us. You are disgusting. And if I were you, thank God I am not. I couldn't wake up in the mornings. As a response- That's just, okay, let's move back a little bit. Um, And so anyway, like that is just, that's, that's out of pocket, man. Like who gets mad about this shit? Like, I, this is the one thing that, like, I, it's like, yeah, who gets mad about this? I just, it, it's like, to a certain degree, it's based. I mean, Ruby is pissed off, but, like, why are you really fucking mad? If people are asking for money, I mean, like, and, and like, they don't know that they're scamming them, right? Now, like, if you know that a person's are scamming, that's different, right? But, like, people that are just begging for money, who gives a shit? What do you go and say this to somebody that's on the side of the road with a sign up? No, of course not. Like, why are you doing this on the internet? It's so weird. Like, yeah, it's like, I, I, it, it's, 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 it's so weird. Like, why spend energy writing that comment? Just step away. Yeah, like, what the fuck? They're 9 to 17-year-old Andy's being jealous. I th it's so, like, vitriolic and unnecessary and weird, man. Yeah, it, it's just, it, it's like, yeah, I, I don't understand it. Like, get a job and work your ass off like the rest of us. This just sounds like a person that's unhappy about their own life. It's sad. It's old YouTube. What do you think, Ru Ruby? Th this is probably like, yeah, that Ru Ru this Ruby might have made this comment fifteen, like five years ago, ten years ago. Now she's probably posting Facebook memes about how COVID ain't real with minions. The people like this just go from one dumb thing to another. What do you think? She like she was she was dumb as fuck four years ago, five years ago, and now suddenly she all smartened up. Uh-uh, man. She's probably talking about QAnon. Up in the morning. As a response to the hate, Amy would shift Natural the blame for herself, stating that her friend was the one who suggested that she make the GoFundMe. That's I stupid. do not take money very lightly. The whole MacBook thing was not my idea. It was a friend of mine's idea. I didn't even edit the video or anything. But that video is down. However, while Amy did receive a bit of hate, the operation will prove to be successful after raising over $833. Showing Jesus this Christ, that's it? Like, is that's it? Like, guys, uh, look, Sonny, can we please get a video about these NFT scams for millions of dollars, bro? Like, I don't give a shit about how two ladies that live in Arkansas scammed their viewers out of 800 bucks. Who gives a fuck? Like, I don't care. Like, I want to see the real scams, man. Like, let's get them. Like, I, I wouldn't do it. I would have asked ten thousand dollars. Oh, it's a ten thousand dollar MacBook. Well, th that's that's half of the MacBook, right? So it's the payment plan. So you spend the first ten thousand dollars to where you can lease it, and then you have to spend the next fifteen thousand dollars to where you can buy the whole thing outright. And then there's the extra five thousand dollar retainer for whenever you have to go back to the Apple Store and get it repaired a week after it stops working. Did my shit break? Is we good? I was telling a joke. My shit breaks while I was telling a joke. Is that really what happened to me? I tell a joke. They shut me down. Wow. Joke was so bad. Twitch canceled you? No, it wasn't. Like, that's nothing. Like, I, I can do worse.
Slate and Sisters that it was not only possible, but simple, to extract money from their audience through GoFundMe, which had become a vital piece of information for the main scandal to be covered in this video. The other problem that the Slate and Sisters encountered after growing an audience was that they could now be held accountable for the stories that they shared throughout their videos. For example, Amy would upload a video talking yep. about a situation in which she had adopted a German Shepherd rescue dog before leaving it in a camper van on a hot summer's day. Now, Amy would state that mm -hmm. the air conditioning was on whilst the dog was inside and that the camper van was, quote, freezing. The camper has AC in it and we only put him in there for like 30 minutes. And who are y'all to judge me? However, when Amy would then reveal Why that the dog- Why you talk about that? Why, why would you even bring that up? Wait, how, how does, how, what does this have to do with anything? Like, like, I, it's not even like, I'm not even getting into like, yeah, why, why are you even bringing this up in the first place? You see what I'm saying? Like, what is this? Cause they, no, guys, stop, take it personal. Yeah. It's as simple as she's dumb. I, I mean, you're probably right. They just, no oh, guy, come on, come on that poor dog. How about you watch the video? I don't know. I want to talk about it because they aren't used to being held accountable. All press is good press. Well, it's not really about holding people accountable. It's just the, it's like, you have to think like some people get mad about that. Dog had gone crazy inside and smashed the it's air. It's like there's people that, that unit just to get out her audience assumed that maybe the ac wasn't on and that the dog was going crazy because it had been overheating inside this theory would be supported further after amy revealed that the dog had bitten her quite severely after escaping from the camper van leading her audience to believe that the dog was all riled up after overheating what as a result the of the incident happened? Amy what happened to this dog bro i feel bad for the dog like i don't know what they, they might I, I, you know i'm not even sold that they that they left him in the van and and, and let him overheat but like damn that's so like well, yeah and she's smoking yeah of course man of of course why not why would you not smoke it would state that the dog had been put in a 14 day quarantine the dog is in 14 day quarantine he, he has a week to go however with the bite mark being so severe and amy taking the dog to the pound whilst using the wording that the dog was no longer with her the audience assumed that amy had taken the dog to the pound to have it put down resulting in the popular opinion that amy was an animal abuser i can't imagine this woman owning a german shepherd shepherds need tons of activity both physically and mentally she couldn't even take care of herself let alone such a strong and intelligent breed i'm sorry but I highly doubt she ran after the German Shepherd. You need to be relatively active to own a dog like a German Shepherd, and you need to be trained to be able to take care of an abused large dog. This sentiment will become even worse when at a later date, oh Tammy God. would upload a video talking about the celebration of her birthday at a gaming arcade, mentioning in passing that she felt sorry for their other dog, Little Bit, who had been left in the hot car whilst they were inside playing games. I feel bad. Jesus Christ, man. Like, how do you do that? Like, it, it's like, I, I do know how you do it. This is how you do it. Uh, is that uh, you, you do it because it's just, that's what you do. Like, you just don't give a fuck. You don't care. And you're just uh, indulgent, self-indulgent. You do whatever you want. For a little bit because she sat outside in a hot car while we were having fun. But I did, while we were at, uh, getting something to eat, I did get a, a little bit some uh, ice water. So I thought about it, at least. Amy said I was going to get her some water. What a selfish, disgusting bunch of people these three are. Uh -oh. poor, poor little dog. I'm surprised a little bit is still alive. These events <laughs> did a pretty good job of destroying the Slayton sisters' reputation. However, Jesus. as you might assume, it was only going to get worse from there on out, as Amy would find herself in yet another controversy after going on a date with at the, the mcdonald's oh my god like how does this shit like how is this not like this shit just you know what i said like uh, of course right of course and it, it's like you don't remember y'all ever watch house of cards y'all ever watch house of cards the, the the netflix show with kevin spacey um well anyway like i genuinely felt like that show fell off because of the 2016 election because like that the election was so fucking insane that they literally could not even come up with a fantasy plot to rival it that would be believable uh, it, it, it's like this like how is it that sometimes real life writes itself even better than fiction 19 year old autistic kid at a local mcdonald's y'all know oh, that that Kevin Spacey did? the worst no, night ever friday and it was a horrible night it started off good we met each other it well when the way. first time we met don't Think that. I'm not that type of person. As mentioned, in the beginning, Jesus. the date seemed to have been going well, to the extent that Amy and her date decided to book a hotel so well, they could go and get frisky together, oh, at which good. point things would start to head in a negative direction. And then we went to a hotel room. I finally got up and I started loving on him. I was trying to give him a hickey because he was a virgin and he never had a hickey before. So I was giving him a hickey and he was like, 
quit biting me. And I'm like, I'm not biting you. And he was like, here you are. So I bit him. After biting her date and assumably scaring him off during the intimate moment, he would take to- <laughs> This is only halfway over. Oh my god. To Facebook, posting a status written in an ancient hillbilly dialect, which will receive a response from Amy about the size of his penis. But what did he say? Wait, wait a second. What did he say? F you, Jerry, with your small ass dick. Go get a life. Damn, Amy, Amy's just throwing down the gauntlet. She's just, she's going in on him. Oh my god. Look at this. What does he say? And this is what the guy says. If a guy tells a woman he don't like something, it means stop all that. He don't like just like I told this. I don't like biting, but what does she so do? She continues like, damn, I said stop. But all the stupid psychotic, if I don't say I love you back, I don't love you, especially if you keep saying it over and over again. I hate that. Bro, true. So true. Has there ever been a bigger true in my, there's ever been? Yeah, true. <laughs> this guy would cheat on school. His penis. True. Following this, Amy would go on to upload her video discussing the night, where she would completely dox the guy in the comment section with his Facebook page and telephone number, after which he would be harassed by Amy's YouTube audience. In somewhat of a hilarious act of karma, Amy would then go on to get into another relationship, which would ultimately end in separation after Amy's YouTube audience decided to get involved. Oh, I know guys were happy. David just broke up with me because everybody was harassed. Now y'all see why I don't tell people who I'm dating. <laughs> because y'all bully and harass me. <laughs> and then he don't. And while this would mark the end I of mean, Amy and Tammy's reputational base scandals, it would ironic- That probably is true. Like, to be fair, that probably is true. Like, I, I, like there's a lot of things that is probably is bullshit, but, like, it probably is true. Because, like, how many, th how many times, like, it's like, how many, like, what do you think, if you found out that guy was dating that girl, what would you say to him if you were going to say something to him? I bet a lot of people would say some weird-ass bad shit, and he probably just didn't want to deal with it. He, he did, yeah, he didn't want to deal with it. So it makes sense. I mean, that, that part, I think, makes sense marked the beginning of what would be many financial controversies, beginning when their audience discovered that the sisters have been receiving government assistance in a video titled Amy's Toxoplasmosis. Oh, fucking course. Oh, fucking course. Oh, my God. Disability benefits. Holy fuck, man. Like, oh, wow. It's just, Jesus, man. Tax dollars at work. Like, I just... Is the face woman calling you a chat online? I don't know, Matt. You just the thumbnail? I don't know. The thing is that I think that they know, like, this is, like, my opinion, is I think that they know that they look weird, and so, like, they use that to, like, draw attention to themselves. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of what would make sense. Because, like, why else would you do so many things that are, you know, self self-depreciating? So I think that they do it on purpose because, uh, you know, it, it draws in attention and, and it, it pulls people in. And, and then, like, people harass them in, like, usually a bad way that's unwarranted. But it's like you're kind of, you're, you're, you're like, setting the stage for this to happen. And then you get the sympathy for it. And, and then you do the GoFundMe. And, and so it's like, a, it's like a circle, right? So it's like, yeah, I'm going to put myself in this position that makes me a victim and that makes me look bad. And then people are going to get mad at me. And then I'm going to ask for sympathy. You see what I mean? Like that that's in in my opinion like that's that's how it goes in my head. You fall in love your own depression, man. Cycle of degradation. Yeah, too much planning. Uh, I think it's possible. I mean, people like this, they they don't do that. Listen, they don't do it. They don't it's not like they write this out in a notebook, man. It's just second nature to them. Is toxoplasmosis. Amy would explain that as a result it's of just being what they do. blind, she had been receiving social security payments. I'm not on disability for my weight. I'm on disability because of my eyesight. It would then be revealed later that Tammy was also receiving disability payments for her morbid obesity, which would result in backlash from her audience. You can get you can get disability if you're fat. Like you, it really? I, th I didn't know that could happen. Wait, yeah, sure. That's crazy. <laughs> I had no idea. It's like we're gonna give disability to a lot of people. I think that maybe we should invest it in people that aren't that like. I mean, aren't there people that like have things that they didn't cause themselves? Like that seems kind of unfair. Right, like I'm all for like universal basic income and, and all that, but like if we're not gonna do that, maybe we should allocate funds to people that aren't sabotaging themselves. Maybe we should do that first.
Seems a little bit, a little bit unnecessary, a little bit unfair. I need that they were rorting the system by receiving money from both the government and their job as YouTubers. In addition to receiving money from these two sources, they also began to make money from selling merch before many would yeah, claim- Yeah, it's like, this is obviously like, I mean, look at this. Uh, it's like, you don't have something like this if you're not if you're not doing it to make yourself look bad, right? Yeah, that's that's clearly what it is. Uh, working at company at the same time, sabotage themselves. Yeah, creative merch. I mean, look, there's some streamer merch that's worse than this for sure. But this was also a scam. The merch site was suspicious from the very beginning and read as follows. If you purchase Tammy's merch, you'll be added to a private group chat with Tammy. Great. To purchase, head over to the donate section and donate the appropriate amount, $35 for t-shirts, $50 for hoodies, then head to the contact section and email us with the email you use to make the purchase. The reason that the Slayton sisters requested for purchases to donate the appropriate amount became pretty obvious. They're definitely scamming the tax system and sliding money to Tammy so she can stay on disability from what it seems. I oh, I see. Because yeah, they're they're sending it over to another account that's not registered with the state as her account. It doesn't have her her legal name on it. So you're receiving money through that account, and, and then you pay it to them in cash. Okay, like I I see that. I see that. Yes, that's a five head IRS brand. No, I I know plenty of people do stuff like this. It, I I don't anymore. I, to be fair, I don't anymore. But like I used to know pe plenty of people to do stuff like this. It, it's it's pretty normal. Most people do that. If they can, most people will do that. Side hustle, but this one Now, is. am I pissed? Am I pissed? I mean, why, why would I get mad? The thing is, like, why would they not do this? But think about this. Like, why would they not do this? Why, why would you not cheat the government? You see what I mean? Like, so, yeah, why, why would you? It's illegal? Who cares? Uh, yeah, who cares? And, and, like, I'll do a little bit of tax evasion. Like, everybody's always gonna, like, I get mad. Like, the thing is that, like, yeah, obviously it's bad. You shouldn't do it. But, like, am I personally offended by this? No, because it's like... I, I, it's morally wrong. I, I mean, listen, like I, you could make a pretty fucking strong argument that living the way that they do, uh, smoking cigarettes like that is also morally wrong because you're going to be a drain on society uh, sooner than later. Okay, yeah, very, very much sooner than later. So, like, I don't really give a shit about like, m morality. Uh, <laughs> Okay, all right, now we're gonna get into the bullshit, right? I don't give a shit about that. Like, all I care about is, like, just understand, like, it makes sense why this happens. Like, yeah, of course. My morals. Yeah, exactly. Steal money from the government's gonna use it both kids up from drones. I mean, yeah, I don't really care if people steal money from the government. It is what it is. Like I pay a lot of taxes and it is it, I mean, it gives a fuck. Like I mean, the thing is if I could steal money from the government, I would do it. Like, I mean, I don't need to anymore, but like if I if I was just getting by and I couldn't afford things and I didn't have a nice life, I didn't have the things I want, of course I'd steal money from the government. Why not? super shady. What the hell kind yeah. of sketchy ass website is this? I just donate my money and hope to god I get something in return? No tracking or proof of purchase? Refunds? No thank you. This feels like a way to scam the IRS somehow. I didn't sell anything. People donated. It got it's still income. Any donation, I think the number is either 10 or or $100. It might have been 10 before, but any time that a gift, so it, it's referred to as a gift, and a gift of over, I think, 10 to to $100, I forgot what it was, has to be uh, reported as income. So it's actually not true. Is it 500 Is it 500 for for, uh, for a corporation? I thought it was 100 Yeah, is it $100? Yeah, see, I, I don't remember what it was, because I know it's like it's different for this. Uh, a donation is for charity. Yeah, it's it's not that much money. And, and also, like, if you're receiving, like, a bunch of $5 payments, you do have to collectively report that as far as I know, especially if it's becoming to a large amount. Uh, what about gifts to the family? Does that count? Uh, I, I think that this is really what it is, right? So if you get audited, the main thing that, like, w this is my understanding of, like, what happens whenever you get audited is that a lot of it is intention. So, like, if you don't follow this law to the T and, like, they just see that, like, oh, well, this is just something that didn't get reported and it was, like, you know, a gift to a family member or something like that, it doesn't really matter. Like, they're not going to care about that because they have to worry about, like, a million other things, too. They're not going to invest their time into you. But the fact is, that like, it's about intent and, like, whether you're trying to take advantage of the system. Uh, anything under 10K doesn't raise flags. If it's over 50k if it's an individual yeah everybody's giving different numbers i remember it was like something like 10 or 100 dollars. i don't remember yet depends on how much too right yeah it does and, and i think that it becomes more and less evident whenever you individually because again like these things uh 
like a lot of very very rich people uh always get audited right like donald trump got audited like every year for example and so uh this happens all the time like they even hire companies to audit them for them so they don't get in legal trouble with the irs companies do this too uh is they'll use a large accounting firm to audit themselves to make sure that their books are straight this happens all the time and uh the fact is that again if you have this stuff happen it's probably not going to be bad unless you were doing it on purpose it got worse when fans would come to realize that the sisters hadn't been paying the artists who were completed the designs for the merch. Yeah, a representative for Tammy would take to Instagram stating, All people who make artwork don't ask to get paid, but to simply get a follow or notice by Tammy. Most of the artwork on the website right now was designed by at blank, our website designer, and at blank again. However, apparently this wasn't the arrangement made with the artists. In an See, article like, I'm fine with that to an extent. Like, if you don't pay an artist and they're like, oh, just promote my stuff and I'm happy, that's fine. But it has to be an agreement between the two people. Like, I think that consent is what matters. Like, it, does the artist, is this what the agreed, is, is this the agreed upon transaction? You see what I'm saying? written about the scam by showbiz cheat sheet it was mentioned that at least one artist okay claimed they yeah, requested true. their art not be used without payment and have since been blocked and have had their artwork misattributed to someone else this artist damn so that's like that's not even like that like bro like they're not even like it's 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 like one thing like oh they hadn't paid them yet or something like that nah man like they're going all the way they're going oh that's how that's the whole thing they 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 scanned them and then they said it was written by somebody else oh my god like this is that's crazy man scamming artists just go so fucking low here's the thing remember what i told you guys about whenever you're dealing with with, with things that are not covered by the law you know you're dealing with a, a business or uh you're, you're you're buying or selling something and, and it might not be something that, that's legally covered if that happens and the person that you're buying or selling from if there is even the slightest little little tiny bit of of a scam uh, of like of anything that's uncertain right it's like oh it was 30 oh well i i meant 35 or it's like oh well i only brought 30 dollars is that okay no it's not it's never okay like if it's a one-off deal you're selling something to somebody on craigslist like that and you just want to get it off your hands go right ahead but like if this is somebody that you're going to be doing deals with and working with regularly and you might ever work with again never ever ever do business with somebody who does anything that is not what you agreed upon immediately call it out especially if you're doing something that is not covered by the law because the second that that happens they will do it again they will do it worse they will fuck you over in other ways and if somebody is a scam artist in one way they will be a scam artist in a lot of other ways too you see what i'm saying not true i wouldn't i mean like i bet i bet you would yeah foot in the door psychology very true yeah of course what if they do it to your benefit um well if they do it to your benefit sometimes uh uh, this is like a it, it depends right so like if you're talking about like selling like different random shit right sometimes people will overpay you this is very uncommon but they will do it because they are basically testing your integrity you know it, it's like an it's an integrity test like you owe them right that, that's basically what it is yeah so you give them the money back oh yeah true it's a trust trade yeah exactly so like they, they do that on purpose because it's like oh well i'm gonna pay him uh 55 or like i'm gonna pay him 550 you know 550 dollars instead of 500 and it's like if he doesn't give me the 50 back we're never going to talk to him again right it's actually a much cleaner way that's non-confrontational to judge whether people are uh authentic or not yeah it, it's a it's a litmus test exactly it's way cleaner yeah because it's like uh, that's what it was because anybody like ever, ever, anybody's gonna isn't that really toxic uh it has to be it, it just simply has to be because you like it, it, it's you you are relying 100 percent on trust and if you can't trust somebody all bets are off everything's off the table yeah what's a litmus test a litmus test is basically something it's like a mining canary oh wow uh, yeah oh, what's a mining canary it's like they used to use canaries to go down into in, into caves and before that the toxic fumes would kill a human before it was uh fatal to a human it would kill the birds and so they would use the birds and whenever the birds started dying they would leave right so it's basically like a um uh it's like a a, a safety a safety check in a way right this artist would take to Instagram in a post reading, I wasn't being unfair at all. Just saying how my artwork is being passed off as someone else's That's fucked when up. I spent time doing it. And I've now been blocked, yet my design is still That's up on your up. website. Not really fair at all. All I wanted was credit for it. That's all. As so they, they didn't even give him the thing that he wanted, that they said that they were going to give him. Oh my God. 
As a result of this scandal, Tammy's TikTok with over 1 million followers, on which she had promoted her merch, would be permanently banned. However, this still doesn't make it the most notorious controversy in the Slayton sisters history, bringing us to the infamous funeral scam. It began when Tammy, who was the heavier of the two sisters, fell over yep. in the bathroom before waking up the following day without the ability to breathe. I woke up and I couldn't breathe. Like, bad. Like, I really couldn't breathe. And after being rushed to hospital, it will be discovered that Tammy had contracted pneumonia. Jesus I went to the Christ. hospital and the ambulance. Took x-rays and a couple hours went by and they told me I had pneumonia and I was going to have to stay in the hospital. Whilst in the hospital, Tammy's condition would worsen, leading her to pass out for three and a half weeks whilst on life support, during which Amy would begin the GoFundMe. Now, to Amy's credit, it probably was pretty scary having your overweight, unhealthy sister on life support for over three weeks. However, yeah. to begin planning for the funeral before she had even died was almost comically pessimistic, which would become even funny when Amy stated that the money was to fund a Tammy's triple size extra large coffin. With Tammy being so big, if something does happen, her coffin is going to cost them more because they have to triple the size of the coffin. Whilst mentioning that Tammy was on a medical card, however, the amount of money it provided would not be enough to cover the funeral. She is on a medical card. The medical cards will not cover all of the bills. So this GoFundMe account will be for Tammy funeral if she dies. So please, please find it in your heart to donate. The GoFundMe itself, which would raise a total of- I just, I can't, man. I, I really, I just, I can't, man. That's just, uh, it, it's, it, it's just so, it's so shameless, number one. And, and like, number two is like, it's not going to be a scam. Like, I, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just keep, I'm, we're gonna keep it 55th Street here. This not gonna be a scam for long. She gonna need that coffin sooner than later. If you live the way she does, you're gonna fucking die. Like, and, and, and like, that's all there is to it. And like, some people might forget about this. They might not think about this. They might laugh at it. Oh, it's so funny. You know what morbid obesity, you know, you know what the word morbid is in that fucking word? Is that shit kills you. It fucking kills you. And it's like the, the worst thing about it, guys. I, uh, mm, I've been so mad about this, man. It's like, and, and like, I, I take this a little bit personally, right? Because I see the picture of her whenever she was in the hospital. Reminds me a little bit of my mom, right? Because like, this is what happened. Like, I looked at pictures, right? Obviously, you know, she gone. I've looked at millions of pictures, right? Of like her, me and her and everything like that. She gained so much weight in the past few years. She did. And, and, and it's like, why did you do that to yourself? I saw it happen. I saw it happen and I knew it would happen. And I just, I, it's like everybody knows and you just do it. Like it's just medication can do that. Yeah, but she not, yeah, so can soda or, or, or chocolate or uh, more soda or no exercise. I think that can do it too. You said it was coming. Yeah, I saw it was coming. And it's just, it makes me so mad to see this because like, uh, like I feel bad for these 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 women, but like at the same time, it's like this is just an unhealthy, indulgent lifestyle that you choose to live. In, in many cases, it is, and it just makes me so so sad to see this. It does, but I want to make sure this is very clear. It's like y'all, we can laugh. Like I mean, I don't want people to make fun of them, right? It's just a little bit. Let's come on, come on, right? It's whatever, but like. This shit, we're going to kill you. Like, you live the way they do. You look the way they do. You weigh that much. You're just going to die. Like, that's all there is. So you smoke cigarettes. You're going to die even faster. Like, fat phobia is cringe. You know who's fat phobic? Your body. Your body's fat phobic. How many 90-year-old people you see that weigh uh, over 400 pounds? Zero. You know why? It's because they're dead. Think about the only famous, well-known, really old fat person. Santa Claus. And he's not real. They're dead. That's that. That's all there is to it. Yeah, that. That's that's. That, yeah, I'm sorry, but like we gotta keep. We gotta keep it real, guys. Like that's the truth. Like and, and like I think anybody. By the way, anybody who doesn't say what I'm saying, I think is doing a massive disservice to not only their audience but to the entire society. You can live however you want. I don't care if, if she can eat, eat eat as many uh, marshmallows and drink as much soda and, and and do as much as she wants, smoke as many cigarettes as she wants. That's fine. She can do whatever she wants, but do not even for a second try to tell me that it's not bad. Try to tell me it's not bad. Like that's it. I've seen it happen, and it's like also like some people is uh you know they they say this they're like oh well what about you what about you you drink soda. Listen, I live like an animal. I don't treat my body like a temple. I treat it like a zoo. Never live the way I live. Never live the way I live. It's terrible. Like, everybody else that lives the way I live is, uh, 
I don't know. How, I don't know how it, nothing bad is real. Like I haven't gotten fat or anything like that. I, I'm very lucky, and I, that won't last. It won't. That that's it. And everybody knows that. Uh, and so at least you're aware of it. Yeah, yeah. And keep that in mind. Teeth rotted out from the sugar. About half of that, half and half, right? And so yeah, that's all I'm really trying to do. Uh, just do it. Could give us some insight. I'll do it until I can't. Like that's the way I look at it. It's probably the same way they look at it too, to an extent. I mean, like there is probably a little bit of similarity there. Uh, I think that's the way a lot of people look at it, right? Is that they're okay with doing some things that are unhealthy that make them happy uh, until it plays a certain role in your body. But I, I think that just all I'm really trying to say is like there's not, uh, it, it's not bad to say that. It's it's not, uh, you know, harmful. It, it's not abusive to say that. It's it's the truth. And people that can't see that, people that don't want to look at it, uh, it, it's you're just gonna, uh, you, you're just you're you're just gonna die. I mean, like, that that's all there is to You're just going to die. And so, like, that that's all there is to it. More obesity, literally dying from being obese. Everyone says fat phobia or molding won't last long. Yeah. I mean, like, that's, like, it, it's, it's like, I, I think that it's just such a, it, it, in my opinion, like, I'm sorry, I'm going off on a tangent here. I'll get back to the deal. In my opinion, I think there is nothing more disgusting right now in our culture. That's not true. Uh, there are many more things that are worse. But there is uh, one thing that I find extremely disgusting it is the idea and the false equivalency that these magazines and uh, these media websites place a uh, comparison. They say it's the same, like uh, healthy at any size. No, you're not going to be healthy at any size. That's not true. That That's not true. That's on a magazine. Like, yeah, that's, it's just, it's just bullshit. It's fucked up. Yeah, it's just bullshit. That's all there is to it. It's malfight. Yeah. I mean, that's all there is to it. So uh, I, I hate to see that happen because it gives so many people uh, like this the uh, uh, it removes. I think that like, again, there's a very big difference between like making fun of somebody and like publicly shaming somebody constantly for being fat. And I think most people that would publicly shame somebody like this woman here are not doing it because they want to see her live a better life. They're doing it as a stress ball because they are unhappy and they want to be able to find somebody to shit on. So like I don't support in any way like shitting on people for being fat or anything like that, but there is a middle ground there between shitting on people just for your own personal enjoyment and pretending like it's healthy. There is a middle ground and we need to talk about that middle ground because right now you have a lot of people that are indulging this kind of stuff and it's disgusting. That's what I think. $818 read, this fund is for if anything was to happen to her, we'll go to her funeral. If she makes it through this, the money will stay there or go to her hospital bills that insurance won't pay. I won't ask, but I don't know what else to do. Please, please help us, even if it's cents. Thank you yeah, and a God sense, bless. A sense, now, you got if Amy wrong. had approached the situation from the angle of, we're just doing this to cover the hospital bills and left it at that, there probably wouldn't have even been any backlash. That's However, true. However, since she had put so much weight on the possibility of death and people had donated assuming that she was going to to die, when she would return to the videos a few weeks later laughing, joking, and eating junk food as if nothing had ever happened, obviously the audience and those who had donated weren't all that happy, judging from the 85% dislike ratio on the original We Need Your oh Help video. God. It also didn't help that in a different video, Amy oh would reiterate that the money wasn't going to be spent on anything besides the funeral. We won't be spending it on anything but the funeral. I just wanted to clarify that. Or I'm going to take oh it up. Oh my god, bro. What, what? The donation scaved her? It's disgusting. I mean, it's really not like people do the thing is like you, you, people do this shit all the time man like they just they do this shit all the fucking time and uh it's just at least they have hair man shut the fuck up <laughs> yeah there it is uh man that's just what's a dislike i don't know it's like some like weird i, I think a dislike is the same thing as like a um uh it, it, it's like a like a, a it's the same thing as like a salt in real life uh yeah and so like youtube had to get rid of that yeah, they had to get rid of those. It's far more common than people realize. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. It's just like, it is what it is. This has, shit happens all the time. Video's sad. Like, I don't really feel bad for him, to be honest with you. Like, I really don't. Like, I, I, I don't at all. Like, the thing is, there's a lot of people... I, I, I don't because like you, you, you made your bed. You live this way. You, you're deceptive. You lie to people. Man, fuck. How's this somebody else's fault? You, you know what I mean? Like, and then the dog, it's the, the, the dog, right? It's like, what the fuck has the dog got to do with this? It's like, I feel bad for him in a way, but play stupid games. You're going to win stupid prizes. That's the way it goes. To the funeral home where it can build interest. I probably will take it to the funeral home and let it build interest. So, so what do you mean a funeral home is going to build interest on the fucking 
What the fuck? You think this is a bank? What are you gonna bury? Are you gonna bury her at Bank of America? Are you gonna bury her at Merrill Lynch? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, but behind the Wells Fargo. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, oh my god. If something does happen, we have that as a backup plan. So when it was confirmed that there was no funeral, a new question had been created. Yeah. Where had the money gone? Amy Let's would state wonder. that she had transferred the money to her mother to pay for Tammy's medical bills. The money that y'all donated for Tammy when she was in the hospital, yeah. I gave it to my mother, who paid bills with Tammy's bills. Regardless if that's what she used the money for or not, that's what I did with it. I gave it to my mother. If that's <laughs> what she used the money for or not. It, it, see, like, this is the thing. is like, it, whenever you have, like, oh, people like this, you always have to look at the individual words that they use. It's like, remember how I say that I might do something? Most of the time, whenever I say I might do something, it's not going to happen. Because, like, they don't, like, most people like this don't like to just actively lie to you. They, they like to kind of mislead you. And if you listen to what they say, you'll see what's really going on. You see what I'm saying? Like, you'll, you'll see what's really going on. And you, you have to listen to the words that they say. Paid bills. However, when her audience would ask her to prove it, she'd state that it was her mother's responsibility to provide the receipts. My mom is trying to find the receipts, but if she can't find them, that's on mom, not me. Then in another video stating that the receipts had been thrown out completely. I know I've been wrong. I well, that's convenient. I mean, that's really fucking convenient. Wow. So, like, they threw them away. That's that's too bad. The thing is, it's too bad that uh, that nobody. Uh, it, it, it's too bad that nobody has like a record of this. You know what I mean? Like it, it's just it's so bad. Like we don't have any computers. Like there is no there's no computer evidence of this. Uh, you can't contact the company. Uh, it, it it's gone forever. It, it's gone. It, it's just it burned up. It's done. You can never get it. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's look back over here. Put your mom on it. No, the thing is, like, there's always going to be a way for people to scam you, right? That's that's all there is to it. Wash your hands. Why would I wash my hands, dude? I got a clean dick. Why the fuck would I wash my hands? That's nasty. Why would I ever do that? Get my hands dirty with water, man. Ugh. Ugh. Let's see here. Playing on the emotions of their loyal viewers. YouTubers and streamers have learned how to manipulate viewers to give them more and more. Yeah, of course they have. Uh, I mean, this is the thing. And that, that's why, yeah, it's like it's a it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. It's very common. She not threw receipts away. But in my head, I wasn't thinking, well, these receipts might come to bite me in the ass. You know, I wasn't thinking that. I'm a, it was a simple mistake. You get the medical. The, the thing is, what a lying ass bitch. Number one, like, cause you can just contact the hospital. They send you an accounting and, and like, if you have the insurance company, uh, they send you an accounting too. It's available online. Like it's just, it's just bullshit. It, it's, it's motherfucking bullshit. Everybody knows it, man. And, uh, that's, that's, that's what it is. And, uh, can't blame the scammers, blame the dumb idiots for donating. Uh, it, it's no, 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 real quick. It, it's not you are an idiot if you donate for something like this. Absolutely. Like, yeah, you're dumb. But I think that there's a lot of people that probably just watch them and they think that like, oh, wow, this is, you know, like these people are very nice and wholesome and they just gave them $5, you know, like it wasn't like this wasn't some elaborate scam. It's just they just saw like, oh, man, you know, this poor girl is, is going to die. Like, I'm, I feel bad. And so they give them five bucks, right? Like, it, it's, it's not that complicated. However, They're if not the even, GoFundMe had been not done even online, stupid. then surely she was using internet banking. Why couldn't she provide a screenshot of the bank transfer to her mother? Medical bill receipts why. don't seem like something that you just throw away. It was suspicious that she was unable to provide any evidence for the money going towards the hospital stay, especially when her audience would notice that she also happened to buy a new laptop and a new camper right after the GoFundMe had concluded. Well, that's convenient. That's convenient. Isn't that, isn't that just a... Isn't that just like, how do these things just happen to happen one after another? Isn't that just crazy? Like, what the fuck? That's nuts. Like, I remember this is one time Lowell stole, stole my PSP. He stole, he stole the bitch. And you know what he said? He said that he won a PSP in a giveaway. And it was my PSP. And I said, Lowell, that's my PSP. You know it. And he's like, it's not.
And then I just had to I had to steal it back from him to get it back. And then I broke it. But uh, that's and then he tried he tried to pull that fucking bullshit on me. Like, what do you mean? You get to try to do that? Oh my god! What if he really won it? He didn't win it. At a later date, Tammy would go on to state no, that Amy's no, GoFundMe made her angry oh, as she oh, felt oh, as though she didn't need help. And when I found out Amy did the whole GoFundMe thing, yeah. believe me, I was mad. Because uh -huh. from one, I knew I wasn't going to die. And two, I didn't want well, why, help. Why would, you, why, would you, why would you know that? <laughs> not the person I want to ask for help. The most interesting part about the whole ordeal is that while most disgraced YouTubers simply fade into obscurity as the years go by, the Slayton sisters have managed to remain relevant after rolling their public image into a TLC show titled 1000 Pound Sisters, on which Amy has since lost over 100 pounds, has gotten married, had a baby, and is looking healthy compared to her early days on YouTube. Unfortunately, that's not, that's still not healthy. Like, it's great. I'm, I'm happy for her. I think that's a good thing, but you got to keep going. Yeah, that's good. Like, that actually, that's a good thing. That's a pog. Like, straight up, that's a pog. Like, lose 100 pounds. Like, that, that's really, really good. Like, I, I like that's good. Like, I, I mean, the thing is, like, it's probably, like, it's probably hard to lose 100 pounds. Like, really. And uh, I, I think that's great. Like, I'm happy for her, absolutely. But, you know, the other shit is fucked up. The same can't be said for Tammy, whose continual weight gain underpins much of the show's entertainment factor. The show just had its third season with Bro, well these shows are so, uh, uh, they're, they're so fucking weird, man. Like, and that's what it is. It's like these, like, weird things that, like, people get. It's like this more, it's a morbid curiosity. And what it does is it creates a market for morbidity. I think that's what happens. Is that you have these people and they have a whole, uh, a whole situation and that's... That's what it is, the Island Boys? What about the Island Boys? Oh, come on. What about the Island Boys? I love the Island Boys. What are y'all trying to talk shit on the Island Boys for? Island Boys, Nate. I could watch that if y'all want. I, I like the Island Boys. All right, well, let me finish this one first. Over 1 million viewers per episode. Jesus Christ. Lispy Jimmy makes- Just a minute. Let me, let me open it back up because it, it got messed up. Uh, where the fuck did it go? Um, there it is, and let's see if I can find it again. It's like at the very end, right? Yeah, let me see. Yesterday. Amy has since lost yeah, give me a much of the show's it's entertainment just, factor. Bro, it's the just, show just had its third season. Yeah, there we go. That's it. He assaulted a chick, one of the island boys. Oh, I think that's fucked up, right? I, I guess I'll watch this one. It, this this will be good. And uh, let me go back over. I'll link this video. So uh, this uh, this this video was made by a, a guy named, named Sonny. And... um. Uh, I've watched his videos for a long time, uh, ever since maybe like last year or so, and he makes some of the best videos on YouTube right now, and uh, it's, uh, I genuinely think like if you're going to subscribe to somebody, you should subscribe to this guy, like he's chill, like he makes good quality content that's simple, and, and there's nothing else more to it than that, right? Help. 